Hey there guys, this is my hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time Master Quest. So this may be my last recording session, so I want to show you something. Let's go press C, and look at the movies. And there's some demo movies you can see, like about Wind Waker, Metroid Prime, um, F-Zero, blah 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 blah. I mean, I can upload some of these on the web or something, because I'm not interested in doing that right now. I'm interested in doing this. I think there are some YouTube videos of those movies as well, so... And they show nothing new since there are already games that have been released. Good games too, as I might add. So yeah. Also, let's take a last look at our... Intro... Sequence. Shall we? You know, the one with the peaceful music and the bright... Not bright, but like, you know, calming morning. Almost has nothing, nothing to do with the game, but it's calming. Morning is just arising. It's a bit cold. Do, do, do. Okay, fine. Let's get on. Let's get on with it, shall we? As you see, I kind of copied some files because with the spirit temple and all, I was afraid of screwing things up. But nope, I was got. I'm quite a, okay with you know my spirit temple run. So that was all good. Let's go to the temple of time. Oh, automatic cutscene. I've been waiting for you, Link. Who could it be? They've been saying that there's somebody waiting for us in the temple of time. And it is none other than... LEGS! Oh, chic. Hey, what's up? You're always popping up wherever I go! Link, the hero of time. Aren't we supposed to meet at the pedestal of time? Since that's where you were the last two times or something? You have overcome many hardships and awakened six stages. Indeed I have. Man, that was a tough journey. Fire temple, spare temple... Oh my god. And now you have a final challenge. A showdown with Ganondorf, the king of evil. Ganondorf, I mean, whatever. You know what, I'm just gonna call him Ganondorf, alright? Screw the Ganondorf thing, it's not funny. Before that, I have things I might want to tell only to you. Please listen. Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Sheikahs. Oh, it's something secret. It's a secret secret! Oh, it's this sequence again. It's the rain and the music. If you would seek the, the sacred triangle, triangle listen well. The resting place of the sacred triangle, the sacred realm, is a mirror that reflects what is in the heart. The heart of one who enters it. If an evil heart, the realm will become full of evil. If pure, the realm will become a paradise. The Triforce, the sacred triangle, it is a balance that weighs the three forces, power, wisdom, and courage. If the heart of the one who holds the sacred triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will gain the true power force to govern all. But if the one heart is not in balance, the triforce will separate into three parts, power, wisdom, and courage. Only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce, the part representing the force that the one most believes in. If that one seeks the true force, that one must acquire the two lost parts. Those two parts will be held within others chosen by destiny, who will bear the Triforce mark on the backs of their hands. Nice music, and it's about to play the Alien to the Past intro song too, but yes. What accent was that anyway? I can't do accents, so I don't know. Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the sacred- Yes, I know! We screwed up. We opened the door for him so that he could take over the world. I know, it's my mistake. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. What, did he get the true force? Is that why he took over the world or something? The Triforce separated into three parts. Butt shot! Damn, he's a skinny butt. And skinny legs. Eat more, Link! Eat more! Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hand. Oh, I see. So obviously he's not, you know, someone who has a pure heart. One who has balance in his heart. Instead, he's just the powerful brute. The strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become a mighty evil king. But his dark ambitions were not satisfied. Oh, so the Triforce of Power alone was enough to make him able to take over the world and screw Hyrule. To gain, com to gain, 
To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the two other Triforce parts. I wonder who they could be. I wonder who they could be. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is... You, Link! Oh my god, that is like so surprising. Yeah, of course. Of courage, yeah. I think that kind of represents like, you know, going in, into the spirit temple blind, doing all the crazy shit we just did over the last four months. And the other, who holds the Triforce of Wisdom. It's the seventh, there's a seventh sage, who is destined to be the leader of them all. Is this the, did this person die too to become a sage? Wait, what? There's the seventh sage? Wait a minute, what's going on? Sheik, you're the seventh sage, what? And then? Wait a minute, what is this dress? Wait, could it be? No, no, it's a plot that everybody, everybody knows about. Yep, Sheik is a cross-dresser. You're gay, right? I'm not gay! Then why are you wearing those tight pants? It is I, the Princess of Hyrule, Zelda. I apologize for meeting you in disguise, but it was necessary to hide from the King of Evil. Please forgive me. On that day seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. And then we see a flashback, just like in Lost. I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant, Impa. And I like this cutscene because it's like the same cutscene we've seen before, but it's in Zelda's perspective. I call bullshit. I was wearing the Deku shield. And Zelda's the football arm. I thought I should entrust the ocarina to you. I thought that would be our best chance. But nope. You screwed up. As long as you had the ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the sacred realm. But... Something I could never expect happened. What was it? What was it? After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the Sacred Realm. You never saw that coming. Well, thanks a lot! I wasted seven years of my life just because you made a mistake. Your spirit remained in the Sacred Realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the Sacred Realm. Ganondorf had become the evil king, and the Sacred Realm became a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as a Sheikah and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. So, in order to keep yourself safe, you dress yourself as a man of a species race that is kind of extinct. Ew! That's disgusting. How'd you do that to yourself? Why? And now you're back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf, the evil king, will end. The six sages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the Sacred Realm. I will then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from this world. Thus, Ganondorf, the evil king, will vanish from Hyrule. Link, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here is a weapon that can penetrate the evil king's defenses. The power given to the Chosen One. The Sacred Arrow of Light. And then... <laughs> now I'm like, no, I don't know. And then, whoa, well, she's like glowing everywhere. Damn, this is one light show. Like, oh, I like the little sound effect. You barely hear this anywhere but here. Like, not even the medallions have the sound effect. We get a fort container. I mean, you got the light arrow. And the light of justice will smite evil. Yeah. And then my controller's rumbling like crazy because, oh my god, the Temple of Time is collapsing. Quick, we must get out of here. The Temple's gonna collapse. Can't you see? Run! That rumbling. It can't be. Oh. Yeah, you should've run. You're a purple rupee? You're only worth 50 rupees? Precious Zelda, you, you foolish, foolish traitor. traitor. I, I commend, commend you, for you for avoiding my pursuit, pursuit for seven, seven long years. years. Oh. You've done it. But you let your guard down. I knew you were to appear if I let this kid wander around. So that's why he never just went and killed us. I guess that's... I don't know what to say about this. Oh, and she died. 
But when it was a bit mistake was to strike you and the rest of the power of this kid. And he's like, no, let her free. I'm just going to tag my arms against this impenetrable 50 purple rupee. And I was floating away. Well, ta-ta. No, it was not the kid's power I misjudged. It was the power of the Triforce of Courage. Sure, blame it on the Triforce, not on me or you. But, with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtained these two Triforces, how do you plan to get it from Zelda's hand? Do you plan to chop it off? Ew! Then, I will become the true ruler of the world! If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. Well, shit just got real, went into the blender, and then that's shit went into the fan. And shit. Things are about to get real. But first, let's do a little diversion, shall we? So here we are back at Gerudo Fortress, where we will do one last side quest before taking on the King of Darkness. We're going into the Gerudo Trading Ground, the last place to go before we are Ganon bound. You may notice that I am talking in rhymes, even though this has been done many times. So I apologize for speaking in Limerick, because this is an overdone gimmick. So as you can see, like all the dungeons in this game, the Gerudo Trading Ground is not the same. Here we have Iron Knuckle number 5. My, in Master Quest, they sure do thrive. Fighting in the sand isn't so easy. With the time limit, my stomach got a little queasy. At last he fell quickly to the big Goron Sword, and the blue ruby we have discord. In this room, we must collect silver rupees. This puzzle isn't a breeze. I had to find a good angle. With my stiff control stick, I just wanted to strangle. After fighting with the stiffness, I had realized that time was now a weakness. With only a minute to collect them all, will I succeed, or will I fall? Actually, falling was what I almost needed to do, so that this puzzle I can get through. You may notice that this is sped up. If I have to rhyme for 15 minutes, my brains would end up in a cup. Thankfully, with 9 seconds to spare, I was able to get out of this room with clean underwear. In this room, you must fight some bony foes. With my long shadow big Goron sword, I must deal blows. I admit, those Godzilla's caught me by surprise. Maybe being aware of them would have been wise. The big Goron sword makes quick work on those guys. Quickly, they go to their demise. A door opens behind some red ice, but we can get some blue fire with no price. Speaking of price, there's 50 rupees behind that block. That's why the silver gauntlets are actually optional, I realize with a shock. Speaking of blocks, we again play the Song of Time, so that we can make that menacing climb. Sometimes I've nothing to say, so I may add in a few lines of rhyme just for delay. By melting the ice, we shall resume, by going into the next room. I just stopped to check what to do next, I did not want to be too perplexed. This room is straightforward, or so it may seem. Just walk through the door to be finished, now that's a dream! We must hit a crystal switch on fire. It will open the door you must open later on to get the prize you must acquire. As you can see, my aiming sucks, which is why I couldn't beat the Gerudo shooting gallery even with 500 bucks. But we now have access to the next trial. If you think the next rooms will be easy, you're in denial. Once again, we must kill the Iron Knight. With some slugs, fire, and a time limit, you're in for a fight. Just deal with the Iron Knuckle as we have before. As an adult, we've already fought four. I've used some bomb trees for some easy damage, so that I can quickly defeat the savage. As you can see, I've made some silly mistakes. And as a result, Link has quite a lot of aches. Thankfully, now the Iron Knuckle is dead. To get the item that we want here, I must use my head. To stop the fire, we must press the switch. That looks like it has already been pressed down. Now that's a bitch! With the correct item, you must hit the hidden crystal. Your aim must be precise, as if you're shooting a pistol. Here, we must cross the sea of fire. With another silver rupee puzzle, which I do not desire. The fire arrows in the long shot must be used in a torch so that the platforms with silver gems won't scorch. You must cross the lava by hovering. If you fall, you must waste time by recovering. I have failed quite a few times, and so my health is low with those annoying chimes. That rusty switch uncovered a long shot target, so that the torch can once again be lit. The rhyme in the last two lines wasn't very good. At least my commentary was understood. The rupees uncover more targets and an open door. Even if we fall, we don't have to do the puzzle anymore. Let's celebrate by using a fairy, because going on with less than two hearts might be a little hairy. Here we must collect more silver rupees by taking a dive. Surprisingly, the number of gems in this puzzle is less than five. Forgetting the Zora tunic, I almost drowned. And now with the iron boots, I must go around. Clam, stop attacking me with your butt, otherwise I'll shoot my long shot right into your gut. 
I decided not to swim to get the rupees, although now I'm, that I'm working with angles, I am not at ease. Josh Justin has such an addicting catchphrase, and I could watch his OP of Donkey Kong Country Returns with Jake for days. Getting that last rupee was quite annoying. Measuring the proper angle is not something I'd say I'd be enjoying. Now, thankfully, we can get out of the water. I would not recommend being another victim to that jellyfish's slaughter. And so we grab our second key. Then let's go back to the fire sea. Yes, I think Link looks so much better in green. Changing back into the Kokiri tunic is something I consider to be routine. Oh great, more enemies to kill in a minute. I'm glad that these Dodongos can go down in one hit. I was wasting too much time thanks to the Dinofalls. No, I'm not sure it was due to bad controls. I thought the Armos was the last enemy in the room, so I potentially could have wasted the last few seconds to my doom. The Lizaphos was the last enemy to kill. With Thickness, he is so easy and so chill. And so we have gathered another key. We don't have to worry about those, since there are only three. And so we must make our way through this maze, in order to complete this dungeon's last phase. There are only three doors that are locked. I think it's easier in the original game to be missing a key and as a result be blocked. At the end is a rusty switch that we must hit to uncover a treasure chest that's way up above, like Grunty the Witch. I sped this up even more as this is backtracking. We are at the end of this dungeon, so I should get packing. Remember, the one crystal switch in the room with the lava and ice statues must be hit so that we can unlock the door that we'll enter in a bit. And so, I thank you all for watching, and I hope you found my rhyming amusing. You may say that my last rhyme was stretching it, but honestly, I don't give a shit. But we have our item, let's celebrate it in a hurrah!